Oh, they were lovely, weren't they, Unicorn? Those chocolates on our special star plate. Oh, hello. It's me, Mr. Jeeves. It's been lovely and sunny this evening. I need the sunglasses on indoors. How are you all? Stars of St. Paulinus. Hope you're well. I'll put the plate down. I'd like to read you a story tonight. And it's from one of my favourite authors called Oliver Jeffers. And it's called How to Catch a Star. And this is where I read stories to Annie and Molly in my home. It's a sofa in one of their bedrooms. And I'm a bit big to fit on it now. But we squeeze in, don't we, Mr Unicorn? And we have some fun reading stories every night. And this is great because it's about stars. They're all stars and have been during lockdown. And then this one, it's about a boy. And he wants to try and catch a star. There's a bit of a clue on the front as to how he might catch one. Shall we see? If it works, let's find out how to catch a star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and this boy loved stars very much. Every night, he watched the stars out of his window, only he wished he had one all of his own. If he had one on his own, he would become the star's friend and he'd go and play games like hide and go seek. Or they'd take long walks together, holding star hands as they walked along the beach. So, the boy decided he needed to catch his own star. And he thought the best thing he could do was wake up really early because in the morning is the best time to catch a star because they've been up in the sky all night and they'd be really tired just like you so the next day he got up at sunrise and he looked everywhere but he couldn't see a star anywhere so he sat down and he waited until one appeared. He waited. And he waited. And then he decided to eat some lunch. And then he waited. And he waited. And then he had some dinner. And waited a bit more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it. Uh, uh, but he just wasn't jumping high enough. So then he very carefully climbed the tallest tree he could find and he stretched. But it was just out of his reach still. He thought he might lasso the star with a life belt from his father's boat. Whoosh! But the reality was, it was even too heavy for him to carry. And then he thought he could get into the spaceship and fly up into the sky and grab the star. But then he remembered that when he used the spaceship last Tuesday to fly to the moon, he'd run out of petrol. Perhaps he could get someone to help him to fly up to reach the star in the sky, like the seagull. But the only seagull he could find, he didn't want to give him any help. The boy thought, oh, I'm never going to catch this star. And just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he'd ever seen. It was just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. 
He tried to fish the star out with his hands. Oh, but he couldn't reach it. And then he had an idea. <gasps> Perhaps he should run along to the shore because the star would finally wash up. So that's what he did. He ran along the jetty until he got to the beach. And there he waited and he walked carefully and he watched and he waited. And sure enough, the star washed right up on the bright golden sands. Happy he is there. The boy had caught a star. He had a star, all of his very own. And I love the last picture, because look at the boy now, holding hands with his very own star. Just like he dreamed he hoped he would be able to. That's the end of my story about how to catch a star. So when you see the stars twinkling at night, are you going to use a spaceship? Are you going to use a lasso? Or are you just going to wait until one washes up from the beach? However you catch a star, you're the stars in my eyes, children. You've been stars all the way through lockdown. Carry on reading and carry on being brilliant. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Should we get some more treats for the star plate? See you soon. Bye.